So I wanna show you how to make a delicious corned beef that's super tender and it can be done in your instant pot or other pressure cooker that you have. We don't have a lot of ingredients in it, so we're initially gonna cook a three to five pound brisket or corned beef in the Instant Pot. Now I have saved the flavor packet, the little seasoning packet. We're gonna add this in. Since we're using a pressure cooker, we need to add some liquid. I am going to add beer. This just happens to be what I have on hand and I like the flavor. It's an Oktoberfest beer. If you like, you could add Guinness, or you may want to add a non-alcoholic option. You could do beef stock or even chicken stock. I love to do chicken stock when I'm cooking beef. I think the two flavors, when they're combined together, I have a delicious umami flavor that you don't get from just beef stock. But you do you. So you can see I have other things on this table. So we're gonna cook our corned beef uh, by itself. And then we're going to take it out of the instant pot and we're going to let it rest. It's always a good idea to let meat rest before you start slicing it and serve it. So I am going to go ahead and cook the corned beef here for about 90 minutes after it reaches pressure. Then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to leave all the liquid in there and then we're going to cook our vegetables. I like to cook them separately because I think that they have a better texture when you don't cook them for too long. And we're probably gonna have leftovers, so I don't want them to turn into mush the second time that I serve these. So I'm gonna add some carrots to this. These are just large sized carrots that I've cooked up. You could use baby cut carrots if you like. I am gonna cook this with some potatoes. Now if you have russet potatoes, just go ahead and quarter those. Peel them if you like or don't. I am just gonna leave these potatoes like this. I think these little potatoes, the skins are super tender, so they're really good. All right, and then finally, you can't have corned beef without some cabbage. So I just took a cabbage and I quartered it. And again, after the corned beef comes out, we're gonna pop all these vegetables in here and cook them for five minutes. So let me go ahead and show you how to put everything in the Instant Pot and how to get it going. If you still happen to have the trivet that came with your Instant Pot, drop it in there. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's not necessary. It's just a nice to have. Put your corned beef in there. If you need to cut it, go ahead and cut it into smaller chunks. If it came with a seasoning pack, put the seasoning pack in there. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pour your beer in there. If your corned beef is a little bit larger than mine, don't worry about it, the 90 minute pressure cook time does not change. Your meat needs to cook for 90 minutes, no matter how much it is. So the way I set this for 90 minutes for me, I click on the meat button and then I change the time to one hour and 30 minutes. And my model will just start on its own. Now I'm showing you a quick release right here. This is my model. So when the timer went off, I simply pressed the button and let it release the pressure on the inside. Now if it starts to spurt like this, you can stop this, put a towel over it if you like, and let it continue to release the pressure. So the pressure got released. I'm taking the meat out. You can see how tender it is. It's literally falling apart right now. So I am going to go ahead and take the meat out and then I'm going to put in the veggies and then we're going to let it cook for six minutes on high pressure. So in go the potatoes, in go the carrots. Now I'm going to put as much of this cabbage as I can into the pot. It's gonna be two pieces short just because there's so much cabbage. So again, after I get all the cabbage in there that I can, I'm gonna put the lid back on. I'm gonna cook it for six minutes on high pressure. And then I am going to perform another quick release. Our vegetables are done now. They cooked for 
six minutes on high pressure and I performed another quick release on those. So we'll go ahead and start to take those out. Okay, this looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and plate up some of these vegetables. Oh, the cabbage is wonderful, it's tender. I can really smell those carrots. I'll grab a couple of carrots. You can see that those are tender and a couple of potatoes as well. So I've removed the vegetables from the Instant Pot as well. They were on for six minutes at high pressure. I performed another quick release. I showed you how to do that earlier when we performed the quick release on the corned beef. So, just wanna show you how wonderful and tender everything is. Grab a couple of pieces. And you can see, you can just cut this with a fork and it's wonderful. It's great, it's tender. These carrots are super tender as well. Mmm. You can taste a little bit of corned beef because of the cooked in the same liquid. So listen, I hope you give this recipe a try. This is a great way to make a corned beef. It comes out perfectly tender. 90 minutes, just a little over 90 minutes. It has so much more flavor than when you just boil it because you're cooking it in a flavored liquid. I chose beer. You can choose chicken stock or whatever you like. And the veggies just go in for six minutes after the corned beef has cooked. This will give you enough time to let this rest. And your St. Patrick's Day is gonna be fantastic. You're gonna be, the, you're gonna be the hero of dinner because of this amazing corned beef. I hope you give this recipe a try. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you can see the next video. Don't forget to drop me a comment down below of what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.